Good afternoon. Welcome to Citizens Bank Park and Phillies Baseball on the Phillies Radio Network. And today, the Phillies will take on the Washington Nationals. Hello, everybody. Brady G here with you for another action pack Phillies Baseball. Simulcast from the Video Game Network on the Phillies Radio Network. Now taking the field, welcome your two Phillies have won two straight, beating the Yankees and then last night beating the Washington Nationals. As the Phillies take the field, Taylor Joy will go for the Nationals against Cole Hamels, who is 3-3. Jordan is 2-2. This will be Hamels' 13th game and Taylor's third game of the season. And this is the lineup for the Nationals with Span batting first, France in second, Worth third, Harper fourth, Rendon fifth, Ramel sixth, and the seventh, Desmond eighth, and Jordan ninth. At the lineup will face Cole Hamels. As we saw, three and three at a 4.55 ERA, 24 walks, 56 strikeouts, giving up 72 hits and 65 and a third of an inning. Denard Spam will lead off for the Nationals bat. He got 236 of one home run and 13 RBIs. Here at Citizens Bank Park, second game of a three game series between the Phillies and the Nationals. Hamels ready to go, and the first pitch of the ball game is a call strike that down right down the middle. No balls and one strike to Denard Span. First pitch, Animals get to sign. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a foul and straight back. No balls and two strikes. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a ground ball. The Utley picks it up, fires over the first for the out. What down here in the first. And a break up Kevin France and Bennett got 274 on one home run and 14 RBIs. Here's the pitch to Franson. Up high for a ball, one ball and no strikes. The 1 0 pitch. Sway, a fly ball to center field. They're backtracking, and he will put it away for the second out. 1 2 down here in the first. So bring up Jason Ward. Benning got 322 with 8 home runs, 28 RBIs. Hamels ready. And the pitch to Jason Worth. Swing and a ground ball to Beltray. Picks it up, fires over the first board out. A 1 2 3 hit for Cole Hamels. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. Still the bottom of the first. Nationals nothing. Phillies coming to bat. Starting lineup is like this, Ben Rivera first, Utley second, Darnard third, Howard fourth, Beltray fifth, Perez sixth, Franco seventh, Xavier Paul eighth, and Cole Hamels batting ninth. And Taylor Jordan, he's 2-0 and oh, the 1.72 ERA, six walks and 12 strikeouts. And Ben Revere lead off for the Phillies here in the bottom of the first. Batty got 272 with two home runs. He does have 17 stolen bases. 
Here's the pitch to Ben Revere. Sway and a foul. No balls and one strike. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Inside, one ball and one strike. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Trying to bunt, but missed it. One ball and two strikes. Jordan ready, and a 1-2. Way and a foul. Down the first base side. Still one ball and two strikes. Now the one two again. Sway and a fly ball to left field. And it'll be caught. And but a left fielder, Bryce Hopper, and it's one down here in the first. They'll bring up Chase Utley. Man, he got 295, 10 home runs, 34 RBIs. Tied for the club lead with Dominic Brown in home runs with 10. Here's the pitch to Utley. Sway and a ground ball face hit in the center field. So Utley is a one out base runner. The dog sped. Throws it back in. And Utley is aboard with a one out single. And I'll bring up Chase Darnold. Utley has extended his hitting streak to 12 games. Darnold is batting at 208. And a good game yesterday going three for four. The pitch to the Arnold's foul bat. And behind the Phillies dugout. No balls on one strike. The stretch by Jordan. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. No balls and two strikes. Darnold will chase pitches. He has to be careful chasing them. Here's the 0 2. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. Two, two down, and bring up Ryan Howard. Oh, not a good at bat for Travis Jarnold. Chasing pitches out of the zone. Howard batting at 164, eight home runs, 28 RBIs. He's batting 168 versus right-handed pitches with seven home runs, 25 RBIs. So he is hit well against right-handed pitching. Here's the pitch to Howard, swinging a miss right down the middle, no balls and one strike. Jordan from the stretch. The 0-1 pitch. Outside football, one ball and one strike. Jordan ready. And a 1-1 pitch. Sway got a ground ball to second base. Picked up, fires over the first to Zimmerman for the out. And a retire the Nationals. Here, the Phillies, excuse me, in the first. No runs, one hit, they leave one. We go to the second, no score. Leading off for Washington, the left fielder number. Second inning, no score. Bryce Hopper leads off the second. Here's the pitch. A little bit outside, one ball and no strikes. Ammos with a six-pitch first inning. Here's the 1-0 pitch. And for a strike is 1-1. One 83 degrees at game time. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a foul. Count is one ball and two strikes. Hey, 
Here's the one-two pitch. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. One down there in the second inning, and that'll bring up Anthony Rendon. Hamill's ready, and the pitch to Rendon is outside for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Rendon batting at 275, 11 home runs, 35 RBIs. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Strike one, and the inside corner, one and one. Hamill's ready. And the one one swing and a face hit the left field. This one's gonna go all the way to the wall. Rendon round at first. He's gonna go to second. A good throw, but Rendon will beat it out. It'll be a double for Rendon. A one out double. Wilson Ramos. No, he lined this one in the left field with no doubt about it. Base hit and Rendon ends up at second on a sliding double. Here's Wilson Ramos. The pitch to Ramos, low, one ball and no strikes. Here's the one one pitch. Inside for a corner for a strike is one and one. Here's the one one pitch. Swing, ground ball to Utley. Throws on the first and he's out. Bring up Mike Zimmerman. Excuse me, Ryan Zimmerman. Batting at 249, eight home runs, 24 RBIs. He is 7 for 19 in his last six games. Hamos from the stretch, Rendon at third. The pitch to Zimmerman. Outside for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Here's the 1-0 no pitch. Inside, two balls and no strikes. And those from the stretch. The 2 0 -oh pitch. Little half swing, ground ball. Franco picks it up, fires the first. Zimmerman is out. That'll retire the Nationals. They get a hit. They leave a runner on third. Go to the bottom on the second. No score. Here's Adrian Beltre. He's betting at 256. Five home runs, 35 RBIs. Jordan in the second inning. And the pitch to Beltre. In outside corner for a strike, no balls and one strike. Now the 0 1 pitch. Outside goes to the backstop, 1 and 1. No one one. Swing, ground ball, the shortstop. Picks up, throws over the Simmerman for the out. One down here in the second inning. Salvador. The rig up Salvador Perez. 
batting at 265, seven home runs, 52 RBI. He's 10 for 16 in the last four games. He is hitting the ball pretty well, especially in that Yankee series. Here's the pitch to Perez. Low for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Here's the 1 0 -oh pitch. Sway and a fly ball. That ball's hammered to right field is caught by Jason Worth. Two down here in the second inning. And it'll ring up Mikel Franco. Franco batting at 319, six home runs, 15 RBIs. 31, 13 for 31 in his last eight. He's it. Game winning and game tying home runs in the series against the Cardinals. Here's the pitch to Franco. Outside for a ball, one ball with no strikes. Jordan ready. No one oh pitch. Low two or nothing. Jordan ready. The two oh pitch. And for a strike is two balls and one strike. Here's a 2-1 pitch. Swing a little tapper to the pitcher. Picks up and fires over the first for the out. Out of retire the Phillies in a second as they go in order. We go to the third inning, no score here at Citizens Bank Park. Here's Ian Desmond who will lead off the third inning. He's batting at 267 home runs, 35 RBIs. Here's the pitch. Up high, one ball and no strikes. Here's the one no pitch. In for a strike, one ball and one strike. Out a one one pitch, swing and a foul is one and two. The one-two pitch. Scar third strike. He struck him out. Second strike out for Hamels. One down there in the third. Uh, this pitch was a little bit high in the strike zone, but the umpire called it. And here is Ian Desmond. Here's the pitch to Desmond, swing, and a fly ball to deep right field, and this ball is off, the bounces off the wall, and now picks it up on a couple of hops, throws it over to the cutoff man, Utley. Excuse me, I think that was the pitcher, Taylor Jordan. Excuse me, I thought it was Ian Desmond, it was Taylor Jordan. His first double of the season. One out. Base runner at second base. Span takes a strike. No balls and one strike. My apologies for getting Desmond and Taylor Jordan messed up. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Low, one ball and one strike. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Did he go? No, apparently not. It's 2-1. and one. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Oh. 
Little like a strike, but they call it a ball. It's three balls and one strike. Kevin Franzen waits on deck. A stretch. Left three one pitch. Swing and a foul. Down the first base side. Campbell's ready. A 3-2 pitch. Swing and another foul. He's hit the ball hard, but foul. Still a full count. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Low ball before he walked him. Drew puts two runners on with two, one, one out. For Kevin Franson. Franson is off for one. He flew out in the first. Handles from the stretch. And the pitch to Franzen. Low for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Handles having a little bit of trouble finding the strike zone. Shaking his head. Not happy with the calls he's getting. Handles from the stretch. Once again. And a 1-0. Little outside, two balls and no strikes. And one's from the stretch. A 2 0 pitch. High again, ball three, three balls and no strikes. Hamels has thrown four straight pitches out of the strike zone. Falls behind the France and three balls and no strikes. Hamels from the stretch. Once again, and a 3 0 pitch. In for a strike right down the middle. Two balls and one strike. Hamels from the stretch. The 3 1 pitch. High ball four, and the bases are loaded for Jason Wirth. So Jordan at third, Span at second, Franzen at first. One out, Jason Wirth grounded out in the first inning. Hamill struggling here in the third inning. Gave up the double to Taylor Jordan. Here's the pitch to Wirth. Inside football, one ball and no strikes. Gave up a, a double to Jordan. Walk Span and now is Walk Franzen. Now he's behind with one ball and no strikes. Hamels ready from the stretch. And no one old pitch. And for a strike is one ball and one strike. Hamels getting a sign from Perez once again from the stretch. And the 1-1, one -one. swaying, he gawked it foul down the left field side. One ball and two strikes to Wolf. Hamels again from the stretch. Here's the 1-2 pitch, low ball, 2-2-2. Two, two and two. Bryce Harper waiting on deck. Hamels from the stretch. The 2-2 pitch. Sway and a caught by Howard. Ryan drive caught by Ryan Howard. Two outs here in the third inning. Bases are still loaded. Now here's the first pitch. And there's the fastball by Hamels. Good for strike one. You can't try to outthink him up there. Just get a good pitch and square it up. the pitch out in front here is Zimmerman as this will find the seats in left a foul ball and now pitch on the way and they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt but he'll hold back here it's one and two here's the one two 
Chopper foul. Now another one, two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Here he comes on two and two. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. Well, that's a very effective pitch right here. Just a little backdoor cut fastball. This thing doesn't have a whole lot of movement, but it has just enough to catch that outside edge for a called third strike. Here's the shortstop, Ian Desmond. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Now here it comes. Now a curveball ripped down the left field line. That's a fair ball. Heading for second is Desmond. And he'll pull in there with a one-out double. So he's into second there with their fourth double of the ball game. And right on cue, we'll take a look at the team leaders in doubles from a league-wide standpoint. And you can see that these guys currently find themselves fourth in the NL in that category. Taylor Jordan will get a shot now in an RBI spot, so a chance to help his own cause here. And he's got a hit in the game already, so he can handle the bat at least a little bit. First offering on the way. And he gets ahead 0-1. Well, you see there on the graphic, he's in scoring position with his 15th double of the year. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. He's ready now, the pitch. And he'll stay alive here as this is fouled straight back off the catcher's mask as that looked like it caught him flush that time. The next 0-2. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will wind up foul, still 0-2. O2 once more. The next O2 misses, and that'll move it to one and two now. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. He's ready. Now the pitch. And the runner's breaking for third. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Another 1-2 delivery. And a bouncing ball, foul. Hits are now even at four apiece. Go back to one. He'll try again, 1-2. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Yeah, you know, sometimes as a hitter, when you get into that cycle of fouling off pitch after pitch and trying to protect, you just feel like you have to swing at everything you see. And here, he knows that out on the mound. So he just keeps going farther and farther away from the strike zone until he finally gets a swing and miss. Here's the center fielder, Denard Spann. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And over the scoreboard, home run. Two-run shot there for Denard Spann as they stretch the lead to 5-1. 
Well, this is the chance you take when you work up in the zone like this. I mean, this is right in his happy zone, and he jumps all over it and sends it right over the wall. Now some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Into the box now, Kevin Franzen. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. Nats pick up a pair in the inning on this two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Nationals five and the Phillies one. Adrian Beltre will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Here's the first offering. Here's a swing and a ball hit pretty well out to deep center field. Turning for it is Span, and that'll get down out there near the wall. And he will pull in here with a leadoff double. Well, this guy's been in desperate need of anything, something. Give him something positive. So this is just what the doctor ordered. It's a mistaken location, no doubt about that. And when a guy's scuffling, this is like a gift from heaven as he jumps all over it and drives it for two bases. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. He's at second with his 18th double of the year. one oh on the way. In tight again, and it's to 2-0 oh now. And now with a 2-0 -oh count, both pitches have been in. This might be where you say, all right, I'm going to let it fly if this next one's middle away. Two well count the pitch. Now oh, he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side, and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. And as a defender, these are the kind of pitchers you like to play behind. Someone who pitches to contact, keeps the defense involved, and he gets an easy pop up right here. Mike El Franco will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Come set, now the pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. Here's the 1-0. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. and one. Hits are even right now at five a side. Here it comes, two and one. Now a slider misses, and that pushes the count to three and one. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters counts. This is where you need to pounce. Pause, now the pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. For as hot as this guy's been recently, <laughs> this is a no-brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. Xavier Paul will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. And this is a big spot right here. You've got to get something out of this, even if it's just a run or two. From the belt, the pitch. Outside for a ball, one and one. That change up away is his ground ball pitch. That's a good job to hold off.
Here's the 1-1. One -one. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to short. Franzen on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Philly strand one. They're down here five to one. Aaron Harang is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Jason Wirt will try things again. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Here it comes. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. But Utley is in the right place at the right time. There's one gone. So a good job to get the out there. But with five runs already surrendered, that's not going to do any favors to the team ERA so far this season. And you can see the bad news right there. They rank dead last among the 15 National League teams in that category. Bryce Harper will stand in. He's one for two so far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now the first pitch. And the first pitch is chopped foul at the plate at strike one. Now here's the pitch. And that misses one and one. Well, that's not a real favorable call for him right here. It's one thing when you're facing a lightweight hitter up there, but facing a guy like this, the difference between one and one and 0 oh and two is huge. Five runs, five hits. And no errors so far for the Nationals. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two one. Two one pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. And you can see him shaking his head out there. I think he felt that one was a little bit low. And you know what? He may have had a case. Here comes a 2-2. Two -two. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Not even the best players are immune to a bad call from time to time. I mean, to me, that's not a strike. And I think to him, that's not a strike either. But hey, guy in blue, it's strike three, and he's the only one that counts. In now is Anthony Rendon. Yes, he'll take a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Not a bad idea to take a look at that one there. Now that you've seen the curveball, you can start to get a better gauge on it. Get a feel for what it looks like coming out of the pitcher's hand. Now the pitch. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. It's a 5-1 game here in inning number five. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. One, two. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. He showed him that slider running away two times in a row. Now might be a good time to call him that two-seamer running in. The 2-2. Two -two. Foul. Now another 2-2. Two -two. And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there. The 2-2 two -two coming. On the ground now for Beltre at third. Throw on to the big fella Howard at first. And with that, the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. They lead this one, though, 5-1. Dominic Brown is going to get off the bench here as he'll hit for the pitcher harangue. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. 
The pitch count there one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern I wouldn't imagine. Yeah it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings so he should be fine for the time being. Here's a hard hit ball ripped down the first base line. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. The center fielder, number two, Ben Revere. Ben Revere will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Good late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. Now the 1 0 pitch. There's a fastball for a strike, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. Come on. Now the 1 1. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's 1 and 2. Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. The one-two. And this is hit hard up the middle. And into center field as he's aboard with a one-out single. So an unfortunate turn of events for him here is he's going to be forced to leave the game due to injury. And hopefully it's nothing that keeps him out of commission for too long. Yunel Escobar will try and loosen up here as he'll take over at short following the injury. Chase Utley will stand in. He singled and popped out in his first two at-bats. Here's the first offering. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. And, and you know, whenever he's been in trouble on the mound, he's found a way to turn things around. And that's a good job to start this guy with strike one. He's set, now the pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Now the one and one pitch. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Yeah, and even though that's a tough one to get on top of, I think he'd say he got away with one right there. That's in too good a location when the matchup's not in your favor. Here comes a one two. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. To Escobar for one. Onto the pitcher covering it first, and it's your textbook three. 6-1 double play that'll get him out of the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. Washington leads this one 5-1. Jenmark Gomez will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Back with Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, Matt Baskersian. Here is it's Wilson Ramos that gets set to lead off the Nationals half of the inning. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. And that's getting bailed out at the plate. Here's the 1 0. Grounded fouled off to the right side. Here's the 1 1. 
And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Now the pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. One thing that man right there will not tolerate, leadoff walks. Especially right out of the bullpen. This might be a quick outing if that happens. Here he comes on 3-1. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Here's the 3-2 pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. The next 3-2. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Wow, just a great at-bat right there. Simple as that. Patient, laid off some tough pitches, he was rewarded. Ryan Zimmerman will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. First pitch coming. Runner goes for second. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Come set. Now the pitch. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. You have to figure that sinker is going to be an important pitch for him here this afternoon. No question about it. Obviously, it's his ground ball pitch, so if you're a hitter, you're going to need to make him bring that pitch up a bit. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. You know, it seems like every time we check these out and show motion, it always looks like the bat breaks the plane. Look here, sure enough, I, I don't think he holds up in time. Looked to me like that was the right call. That one is gonna go. Here's the shortstop, Yunel Escobar. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out, nothing in one. And for as bad as he missed that pitch, you can bet we're gonna see that again before this at-bat's over. From the belt, kicks and deals. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Five runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Nationals. The 1-1, one -one. and there he goes towards second. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball to third. Relay to Howard, and it's in time. The double play, that ends the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More of the show, Saturday baseball, after this. Chase Darno starting things out for the Phillies with the dangerous Ryan Howard waiting on deck. Now the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. and Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. A good tailing fastball for a strike, 1-1. One and 1-1 one. One, one on the way. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Well, the very fact that he gets to this ball, that's impressive. But there was no way he was going to be able to get enough on that throw. So that'll be scored an infield single.
Here's big Ryan Howard now. Grounded foul toward the third base dugout. Has a look, now the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. All right, leadoff man on first. Here's where you got to start clawing your way back into this ballgame. It's not too late, but it needs to start happening soon. Ready now on one and one. We well hit, but I think he pulled it a bit too much. It's a foul ball. Here comes the one two. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Again, a one two. And Howard will wisely lay off that one as it's back to two and two now. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off so many pitches leading up to that one. We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. Here's the two and two offering. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Due to follow here is Adrian Beltre. Here's the full count offering. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. The next 3 2. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. The 3 2 one more time. And they won't come after Howard this time as it misses for ball four. Yep, single and then a walk to start the inning. But this is exactly how big innings get started. So they're set up now to maybe put up a crooked number here. Adrian Beltre will stand in and maybe a ray of hope as they get the first two men aboard here. This crowd's just itching for something to put their hands together about. Well, the positive moments They've been few and far between, but they're not out of this game. Now, they've got some guys in this lineup that can make this deficit go away. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. Now, here's the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. Danger here is this is a guy who can make this a one-run game. And if he does, make him do it out to right field. I wouldn't give him anything he can pull. The 1-0 pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Eric, what are you looking for here? It's a fastball count, but he doesn't always play by the rules out there, so this could very well be a slider or something away. So in other words, I have no idea. Here comes the 2-0. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Around third and being waved on hold. And the run's going to score as they inch back a bit closer. It's now a 5-2 ball game. On his way out to the mound now the Washington manager. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen can find a way to protect his three-run lead. Spot as there are two on here with nobody out. Salvador Perez will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. First pitch on the way. Now a ball line fouled up and over the Phillies dugout. He's ready. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. 
And he'll make it up to third here thanks to the throwing miscue, and we'll see how they want to score this play. I think these guys are pretty lucky just to get it out on this play. You see, they try to start the double play at second base. That doesn't work out, and they're pretty fortunate that the relay throw is in time to at least get the out at first. Michael Franco to stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Here's the first pitch to him. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And he will score as well. And it's back to a one-run game again. It's now a 5-4 ball game. Yeah, this ball definitely had three-run homer potential written on it right off the bat. And he didn't miss it by much as it winds up banging off the wall out there. Good news for him, though, he winds up with the next best thing, a two-run triple. Standing in now, Xavier Paul, as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Any thought to bring in the infield in here with one away? Still a little early in my book. A run you can live with. What you don't want to do is let this snowball into a big inning. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. The 1-0. Oh. Huh. Not quite reaching 90 with the fastball, but it's 1-1 one and one now. Hey, now, let's go. One one pitch on the way. Swing and a line drive, but a foul ball. Now the one two. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. I think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see it. He was right on that. Jerry Blevins will come on now as he inherits a runner at first with already one out in the inning. Jerry Blevins. Darren Ruck will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 18, Darren Ruck. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Four runs here in this half inning. Here comes the 1-0. In tight with the sinker. Ball two. Two sinkers down in the zone. No surprise what they're after here. Yeah, and this guy's no dummy at the plate. He knows exactly what they're trying to do. It's not like he just fell off the turnip truck. Now the 2-0 home. And a sinker is over that time. It's back to 2-1. Here comes the 2-1. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. Well, this is a good fastball spot for him now, and keep in mind, he's got a big hole on that right side of the infield. The 3-1 is on the way. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. 3-2, here it comes. 
Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Nothing better for your confidence than to come right in out of the bullpen and strike that first guy out. A lot of times, that'll set the tone for your whole outing. Here's Ben Revere. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. The next pitch. Sinker stays outside and is behind now 2-0. Now the 2-0. In there, 2-1. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So four runs on four hits, no errors in a runner left on. Seventh inning coming up, and we are all tied 5-5. Five to five. Seventh inning, we're tied at five. And Zimmerman leads off. Here's the pitch. Excuse me, McLeod leads off. The pitch is in for a strike. No balls and one strike. Nate McLeod, the pitch hitter, batting at 249, four home runs, and eight or 18 RBIs. Here's the 0 1 pitch. In for a strike. No balls and two strikes. Phillies are down 5 1 here. In the six, came back to tie it at five in the bottom of the six. Cole Hamill's getting it started in the third inning with a solo home run, his first of the season. One ball and two strikes to McLeod. Here's the one two pitch, swing and a foul. This is one and two. Now the one-two pitch, swing, and another foul. No, stre not, no stretch here. Freight is ready. And the one-two pitch in. Side, two balls and two strikes. Freight is getting his sign from Perez. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and another foul. Still two balls and two strikes. There's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a base hit over Franco. It's going to go all the way to the wall in between left center field. McLeod on his way to second with a stand-up double. So he is a leadoff base runner here in the seventh inning. And he'll bring up the Nard Span. Span Homer to get a two run home run back in the fourth inning. His second of the year. That gave the Nationals the 5 1 lead. That's McLeod's 11 double of the year. Span in there. The Freighters from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Span in for a strike. No balls and one strike. Phillies work so hard to tie this game at five. They don't want to end up losing the tie and being back behind. Here's the pitch to Span low. One ball and one strike. Freighters from the belt. And a 1 1 pitch. High, two balls and one strike. Washington, five doubles in this game. A lot of extra base hits. Here's the 2 1 pitch. 
Low ball three, three balls and one strike. Freitas ready, getting this on for Perez. A 3-1 pitch, up high, ball four, and Spain walks. To McLeod at second, Spain at first. And they'll bring Jake Dickman into the game, 3-0. 1.42 ERA, 38 innings, 11 walks, 39 strikeouts. Here's Kevin Franson, he's over two, he walked. Franson on the way to punt, here's the pitch, is inside for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Pitch. Francis here the button. A good bunt. Deekman picks it up. Fires over the first in time for the out. But the runners advance. McLeod the third. Span the second. So Francis does good about a sacrifice. Puts runners at second and third with one out. For Jason Worth. The play will score a 1 3. Worth is over three. He lined out. On a nice catch by Ryan Howard. But then Bryce Harper came up and cleared the bases. And they're going to put Wolf on and set up double play. So they will go after Bryce Harper. Billy's trying to preserve the tie here. I'm not sure the way Harper is. He had a 3-1 double. He's a 192 hitter. But with that 3-1 double, they think he can ground into a double play. He has he is one for three. Here's the pitch is low. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, if he hits another bases clear and double, it'll give him six RBI. Grand slam will be seven. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a broken bat line shot. Beltre with the catch and foul ground. Two outs here at a seventh inning. He broke his bat. And the ball was foul. And Beltre came below third base and made the catch. Here's Anthony Rendon. He's one for two. He doubled. A lot of national players doubled, including the pitcher Taylor Jordan, who is not in the game anymore. Here's Deepen from the stretch. And the pitch. Swing. Ground ball off the pitcher. Howard's going to have to hurry and it gets him. Oh, what a play by Howard running the first base and preventing any water damage. That'll retire the side. No runs. They leave the bases loaded. We're tied at five. Number 46. Matt Thornton will come into the game 2-1 with a 2.43 ERA, 29 and two-thirds inning, 15 walks and 15 strikeouts. He'll face Chase Utley here in the bottom of the seventh. Thornton ready. And the pitch to Utley in. Outside for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Thornton ready again. And the 1 0 -oh pitch. Swing and a foul. It's one ball and one strike. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch, sway, a fly, ball, foul, ground, and caught by the third baseman, Rendon, the one out here in the seventh inning. And it'll bring up Chase DeArnold. Arnold. 
Thornton and Ruddy. There's the pitch. Up high for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Here's the 1 0 -oh pitch. Yep, Outside, two balls and no strikes. Here's a 2 ball -oh pitch. Swaying and a miss, 2 and 1. Throw in a righty. And a 2-1. Inside, three balls and one strike. Ryan Howard waits on deck. There's the 3-1 pitch. Swag and a well hit. Ball to right field and Worth will put it away. Right in front of the warning track is two outs and they'll bring up Ryan Howard. Howard's open so he walked and scored the run. There's a pitch to Howard in for a strike. No balls in one strike. No balls in one strike. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Swing and a foul. 0-2. Here's a stretch. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and another foul straight back. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a fly ball to right field is pretty well hit. Worth in front of the wall makes the catch. And that'll retire the side. No runs, no hits, no one left. We go to the eighth, we're tied at five. Here's Wilson Ramos. He will lead off the eighth inning. Well, the Nationals have six hits. Five of those six hits. Have been doubles. Here's the pitch is low. One ball and no strikes. The lone hit was a home run by Denard Span. The Nationals have had not had a single in this game. Five doubles and one home run. The 1 0 pitch inside. Two balls and no strikes. Now the 2 0. High, 3 0. Ryan Zimmerman waits on deck. Now the 3 0 pitch. And full strike, three balls and one strike. Digman ready. That 3 1 pitch, low, ball four, walk. Now batting, first baseman, Ryan Zimmerman. And a ring up Ryan Zimmerman. Your attention, please. And he will bring Danny Espinosa to pinch run. Here's the pitch to Zimmerman, swing and a foul, no balls or one strike. Here's the 0-1 pitch, up high, 1-1. One one. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a great play by Howard. Might be a double play on the second for well back in the first. He got the double play. A nice run the first by Dickman. 
but Danny Espinosa is hurt. Oh man. It, Danny Espinosa has to be carried off the field. He might have torn something. I hope he's okay. And here's you now Escobar. Howard made a nice grab, spin on the second, on the first. Diekman got to the bag and made the play at first, getting a double play. Here's a pitch to Escobar, inside for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Diekman again, the 1-0 -oh pitch. Outside, 2-1, 2-0. Crowd not happy with that one. Diekman again. The 2 0 pitch. In for a strike, it's two balls and one strike. The Nationals do not have a single in this game. Every hit has been a double or a home run. Here's a 2 1 pitch. Low ball three, three and one. Matt Thornton waits on deck. Diekman ready. The 3 1 pitch. Low ball before he walked. Be a pinch hitter. Dan Uglo will be the pinch hitter for the Nationals. Diekman ready. And the pitch to Ugly in for a strike. Ugly. His first appearance this season. Here's the 0 1 pitch. In for a strike, no balls and two strikes. Pretty good game here at Citizens Bank Park. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll retire the Nationals here in the eighth inning. We go to the bottom of the eighth. 5-5. Five, five. Jose Lepiton will be the catcher. Number 59. He fell will come in in the game and pitch. Number 21, Keith Bell. Here's Adrian Beltre. He's two for three. He doubled and singled. Here's the pitch to Beltre, low for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Here's the 1-0 pitch, swing and a miss, one and one. Bell waits and the pitch, swing and a miss. One ball and two strikes. Bell again has a quick windup. One two pitch, swing and a foul, still one and two. Here's the one two pitch. Outside, two balls and two strikes. Now the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a base hit the left field. So Beltre's at first. Leads off the eighth inning with a single. Nice.
Nice hit by Adrian Beltre as he slugged that one in the left field. And now they'll bring Freddie Galvez in the pitch run, so Beltre will be taken out of the game. Galvez will be in there to pinch run. Is Salvador Perez. A stretch by Bell. And the pitch to Perez is in, inside corner for a strike. Phillies with 11 hits in this game and five runs. Bell from the stretch. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a miss. No balls and two strikes. It was a half swing. He did go. Billy's trying to get that go ahead run to the plate. Bell from the stretch. The 0 2 pitch. Swing and a crowd ball to third. Might be a double play on a second for one. Back to first. That's a double play. Two down here in the eighth inning. They'll bring up Mikel Franco. Franco's one for two at a two-run triple back in the sixth inning. That was a two-run triple to make it a five-to-four game. Here's the pitch to Franco. Swag and a well hit ball to right field, but worth right there. And it is caught, and that'll retire the side. We go to the ninth inning. We're tied at five. Your attention, please. This oh, Freddy Gavis will go to third. Number 17, Freddy Galvez. And Ryan Sandberg will make a couple more changes here. Now catching number 37, Cameron. Cameron Ruff will catch. Jerome Williams will come in and pitch. He's 5-1, and one, a 6.1 AD already. Got one save, 39 in the third of the innings. No face Denard Spann, who homered in the fourth inning. It was a two-run homer. And the pitch to Spann is outside for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Well, the Phillies have taken some of their, their power out, but they've got a lot of speed on the bases when they come to bat in the night. Here's the one off pitch, little half swing. Fly ball fouled on the third baseline, and Freddie Galvez puts it away, and it's one out here in the ninth. Span broke his bat on that one. And Ken Giles up in the Phillies bullpen. Here's the pitch. The Franzen, it is low, one ball and no strikes. Franzen's 0 for 2, a sack bunt, and he walked. Williams ready, and a 1 0. Swing and a foul. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Outside, two balls and one strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a ground ball. Nice play. Oh, Utley bobbled the ball, picks it up, fires the first, and gets him. Utley bobbled the ball, but managed to pick it up to throw off friends in. Two down, Aaron the Knives. And it'll bring up Jason Worth. Worth over three. Williams ready is the pitch to Worth. And low for ball, one ball and no strikes. Williams again ready. The 1 0 pitch. Swing and a base hit the right field. And that is the Nationals' first single of this game. 
Out of the seven hits they have had, five doubles, one a home run, and Jason Worth has given the Nationals their first single of the game, and here is Bryce Harper, who is one for four, the one hit being a bases clearing double with the bases loaded in the third. Williams from the stretch in the pitch, and for a strike, no balls in one strike. Williams again from the stretch. The 0 1 pitch. Low and inside, one ball and one strike. Williams again from the stretch. The 1 1 pitch. Swing and a ground ball right to Williams. They'll pick it up, go over the first. And Harper is thrown out and that'll retire the Nationals there in the night. They do get one hit, they leave one left. We go to the bottom of the ninth. We're tied at five. Here's Xavier Paul. He'll lead off the ninth inning. He's one for three. Here's the pitch to Paul. Low for a ball. One ball and no strike. Bell always go up from the stretch here. The 1 0 pitch. Swing it up. Ground ball fair. Paul will run the. Zimmerman will run the first. Put he out. So that is one down here in the, in the ninth. And they'll bring up Cameron Ruck. Ruck batting at 080. Bell working from the stretch here in the ninth. Here is the pitch to Ruff. Low full ball, one ball and no strikes. Bell again from the stretch. And the pitch to Ruff. In for a strike, one ball and one strike. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. Low, two and one. Here's the two one pitch. Oh, he swung early, it's two and two. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swag and a foul. Almost hit Juan Samuel. He had to duck for that one. Bell from the stretch. A 2-2 pitch. Swag and a foul. Two still, two balls and two strikes. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swag and a crowd ball to Zimmerman. He'll walk over the first base unassisted. Two outs here in the bottom of the ninth. So bring up Ben Revere. Two for four, two singles. Bell. The pitch to Rivera. Low four ball, one ball, and no strikes. Chase Utley on the on deck circle. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Sway and a foul, one and one. Bell again from the stretch. A 1-1 one, one pitch. Low, two balls and one strike. The stretch. 2-1 pitch. Low, three balls and one strike. Chase Utley waits on deck. Bell working from the stretch. A 3-1 pitch. Ball for he walked it. 
And that'll bring up Chase Utley. Utley is one for four, he's single. Bell has been working from the stretch since the start of this inning. Gets his sign. And a pitch to Utley. Outside football, one ball and no strikes. He'd be trying to be, Nationals trying to be careful because Rivera might steal. A stretch by Bell. Low one old pitch. Swaying and a foul down a third base side. Bell from the stretch again. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Swing and a well hit ball in the center field. Span going there and he makes the catch. And that'll retire the Phillies here in the ninth. We got extra inning baseball coming up. 10th inning, 5-5. Five -five. Anthony Rendon will lead off the 10th. He is one for three. He doubled. Williams ready, and the pitch. Low for ball, one ball and no strikes. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Inside for ball, two or nothing. Here's a 2-0 pitch. Low, ball three. Don't want to walk up. Rendon here. Here's a 3-0 pitch. Swing and a foul. Those three balls and one strike. Williams ready. A 3-1 pitch. And for a strike is a full count. Out a 3-2 pitch. Swag and a foul. A 3-2. Strike, he struck him out. One down, they'll bring up Jose Lebaton. He's batting at 227 with two home runs, eight RBIs. Here's the pitch to Lebaton. Low for a ball, one ball and no strikes. the pitch. And the first strike is one and one. Here's the one one pitch. Swing and a foul. Here's the one two pitch. Swing and another foul. Here's the one two. Outside, two and two. Now the two two pitch. Swing and another foul in the Nationals dugout. Labaton hanging on here. Good at bat by Labaton. Battling Jerome Williams. The two two pitch. Swing. Ground ball. Pass. Utley and in the center field. A base hit for Lebaton, and he is a one-out base runner here in the 10th. Uh, bring up Ryan Zimmerman. Williams from the stretch, and a pitch to Zimmerman in for a strike. No balls in one strike. 
That's the eighth Nationals hit in this game. And they have had a lot of extra base hits. That's their second single. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Swag and a foul. So there's no balls and two strikes. Williams from the stretch again. The 0-2 pitch. Swag and a foul behind the plate. Williams from the stretch. The 0-2 pitch. Swing and another foul down the first base line. Williams from the stretch again. And the 0-2 pitch. Another foul. Williams is battling. No balls and two strikes to Zimmerman. Here's the 0-2, another foul on the first base side. Williams throwing 31 pitches here from the stretch. The 0-2 pitch, low, that's one and two. Perez gets Giving a sign on Williams, he's from the stretch again. And the one-two pitch, swag, and a base hit the left center field going all the way to the wall, 11 times a second, rounding third. They might try to score. Here goes the throw to the play. It's a good throw off the line, and the Nationals lead it six to five on an RBI double by Ryan Zimmerman. That is their sixth double of the game. And they'll bring up Yanel Escobar, and they will bring in Ken Giles the pitch. One and two, 6.44 ERA, 36 innings, 14 walks, and 31 strikeouts. That's an RBI double for Zerman, his 15th double, one out. And a man on second. Here's the pitch up high. One ball and no strikes. Escobar is 0 for 1. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Low. Two balls and no strikes. Stretch by Giles. And the 2-0 pitch. Inside, three balls and no strikes. He fell, waits on deck. And they might bring a pitch hitter in for Bell here. Here's a 3-0 pitch. Got that over for a strike. It's 3-1. Giles from the stretch. The 3 1 pitch. Swing and a ground ball to Utley. Picks up, fires the first for the out. Zimmerman moves up to third. So there's two outs here in the attempt. Phillies just trying to keep it a one run game. And the Darnold and, uh, and Howard will bat. He fell well, pit, well back for himself here. He will bat. Stre stretch by Giles. And the pitch to Bell is low. Four ball, one ball, and no strikes. Giles from the stretch. No one oh pitch. Low. Two and nothing to Heath Bell. I'm surprised that he's having control problems over Bell, who rarely ever bats. He's a relief pitcher. Here's the 2 0 pitch. Sway and a ground ball foul. Oh, 
Giles from the stretch. The 2-1 pitch. Swing and a fly ball to right field. Darnold going back and this ball bounces off the top of the wall. He fell with an RBI double and it's now 7-5 Nationals. Oh man, the pitchers are hitting the ball well here today. Hamels with a home run. Taylor Jordan with a double. And now he fell with an RBI double. Here's the Nard Span. Oh man. Here's the pitch to Span is outside for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Swing. Ground ball to Utley. Picks it up. Fires over the first for the out. But the Nationals scored two runs. He fell of all people. An RBI double. We go to the bottom on the 10th. Nationals lead 7 5. So Drew Storm will come in and attempt to save this game. 0 1, 2.89 ERA, 18 innings, 4 walks, 14 strikeouts. Here's Chase Darnold. He has two singles and he scored the run. He gets his average up to 250. Can use a hit here. Here's the pitch to Arnold. He's in for a strike. No balls and one strike. Starn from the going from the stretch here. The 0-1 pitch, swing and a foul. Got a big cut, but he just fouled it. Low balls and two strikes. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Almost hit him, one and two. Fans would love them to take a hit for the team to bring a tire run to the plate, but it's Normal to get out of the way of the ball coming at you. Here's the one-two pitch. Swag and a base hit to right field. Arnold gets the inning started with a base hit. And that'll bring up Ryan Howard. Ryan Howard in a big spot. Here's the pitch to Howard. Swing and a throw hit ball to left field. It's pretty well hit. And it out here! Dante Hogan for it out! And the Phillies have retied this game at seven. Unbelievable. I'm not sure that the ball left was going to leave the park, but it did. And Ryan Howard ties this game up at seven here in the bottom of the tenth. Still nobody out. As Howard's ninth home run of the season, and here's Freddie Galvis. Here's the pitch. Sway, that ball's hammered deep to right field, but caught by Worth. Oh, man. So they'll bring a pitch hitter. They'll bring Jeff Francoeur in the pitch hit. Galvis gave it a ride. And here's Jeff Francoeur. So Storm blows a save. Work is in. Here's the pitch to Francoeur. Up high for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Tied here at seven air in the tenth. 
Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a foul. There's one ball and one strike. There's the 1-1 pitch. Up high, two balls and one strike. Tied at seven here in the tenth. Here's a two-one pitch. Outside, three balls and one strike. Mattel Franco waits on deck. Here's a three-one pitch. Swag and a pop-up. In a foul ground, Zimmerman will put it away. And there is two outs here in a 10th inning. Here's Franco. Work ready. And the pitch to Franco is up high for a ball, one ball with no strike. Xavier Paul waits on deck. Going overtime here in extra innings. Nationals took a 7-5 lead. Phillies have tied it on Howard's home run. Here's the pitch to Franco outside. Ball two. Two balls and no strikes. A stretch by Wark. The 2 0 pitch. Swing of the foul is 2 and 1. A stretch by Wark. And the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a foul is 2 and 2. Stretch by Wark. The 2 2 pitch. Swing and another foul. Even two balls and two strikes. Now the 2-2 again. Swing and a well hit ball in the left set of field. Span going all the way over in front of the 387 sign, putting it away. That'll end the inning, but Ryan Howard ties the game in the bottom of the 10th with a two-run homer. We go to the 11th, 7-7. And Jonathan Papelbaum will come in. 22 saves, one and one, 4.55 VRA, 31 and two thirds, Lemon walks 20 strikeouts. In 32 games, he's got 22 saves. There's Kevin Francis. Pat Bobon ending the game. Ready? Here's the pitch to Franson. And for a strike. No balls on one strike. Pat Bobon ready. And the 0 1 pitch. So I'll call it strike two, no balls and two strikes. Pat by ready. The 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, he struck him out. It'll bring up Jason Worth. Here's Worth. Papa Bomb ready and the pitch to Worth is low for a ball. On ball and no strikes. Ready, Pavel Bond. 
the 1 0 pitch. In the first strike, one ball and one strike. Two balls and one strike. And Papelbon again. A 2 1 pitch. Swinging another foul. 2 and 2. Eleventh inning in a 7 7 game. Out a 2-2 pitch. Call third strike. Struck him out. Two outs here in the 11th inning. And it'll bring up Bryce Harper, who had a three-run double back in the third. He's one for five. Papelbon waiting. And the pitch to Harper. Low and outside, ball one. One ball and no strikes to Harper. Papelbaum waiting. And a 1-0. Swing and a fly ball to right field. Arnold cut, catches the ball on a line drive and that'll end the top of the 11th. They go in order. We go to the bottom of the 11th. 7-7, seven, seven. we'll be back. Here's Xavier Paul. He is one for four, a single, tied the game back in the sixth inning. Work is still in the game. Here's the pitch to Paul. He's in for a strike. No balls and one strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Nearly hit him 1 and 1. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Swag and a fly ball to center field. Spat going back towards the wall. Puts it away. That ball traveled a long way, but Spad makes the catch. And there's one long out. And they'll bring up Cameron Ruff. Look ready. And the pitch to Ruff is low. On ball and no strikes to Ruff. He grounded out in the ninth. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a foul. Work again. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Another foul. That's one and two. Now the 1-2 pitch. Call a third strike. He struck him out. Two down here in the 11th. And it'll bring up Ben Rivera. They're two for four. Here's the pitch to Rivera. In for a strike. No balls on one strike. Nationals thought they had this game in the bag to Howard tied the game in the 11th. Here's the 0 1 pitch. But Bears there to bump, but he fouls it. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a base hit the right center field. Spare plays it on the hop. And Rivera's a two out base runner.
And they'll bring up Chase Utley. Utley is one for five. Now Casey Jansen in the bullpen for the Nationals. The stretch. It is the pitch to Utley. In the first strike, no balls on one strike. 11th inning, 7-7 seven, seven ball game. The stretch by Ward. The 0-1 pitch. Swing it up for ground fly ball. Right caught by Ward. And a retired aside. Phillies leave one. We go to the 12th. Still tied at 7. And there's Anthony Rendon. He's one for four with a double. Here's the pitch to Rendon. Is low for a ball, one ball, and no strikes. Papelbon again. A 1 0 pitch. No. Up high, two balls and no strikes. Pavelbon again waiting. And a 2 0 pitch. Outside, three balls and no strikes. Fans getting a little impatient here. Applebaum waits again. A 3-0 pitch. And the four strike is 3-1. Applebaum again. A 3-1 pitch. And the four strike is three balls and two strikes. Inning, a 7 7 ball game. Here's a 3 2 pitch. Swing. Ground ball. Oh, nice play by Franco. Well, he's not going to get him. A nice, strong throw by Franco, but he wasn't going to get Rendon. It was past the third. And it'll bring up Jose Leveton. So there'll be an infield single for Rendon. Jose Leveton is one for one. He's single. Phillies are in double play depth here. Here's the pitch that scared a bunny. Misses, takes it low and outside. One ball and no strikes. Come on, the Phillies were down three to nothing and five to one. Score four runs. Here's the one old pitch. Here's the bunt, and he bunts it foul. One ball and one strike. And the pitchers got into the action here today. Here's the one one pitch again. There the button. Nice bunt picked up by Ruff. And he barely, barely gets Lubaton. One out here in the 12th. And it will bring up Ryan Zimmerman. Rub had to run for it, and he threw out Lebaton by a step. Score that play 2-3. Here's Ryan Zimmerman, who knocked in a run in the 10th inning. Here's the pitch to Zimmerman. And time for a ball, one ball, and no strike. Pavel Bond from the stretch. And a 1 0 pitch. Low, two balls and no strikes. A 2 0 pitch. Swing. Ground ball to Franco. Picks it up, spins, throws over the first, and time for the out. 
Rendon moves up to third, two outs here. And he'll bring up Yanel Escobar. Escobar walked, and he is open too. Here's the pitch. In for a strike, no balls and one strike. Here's a stretch by Papelbon. The 0-1 pitch. Oh, the ball gets away. And here goes Rendon, and the Nationals retake the lead here in the 12. The ball was a wild pitch. And Rendon comes in to score the go-ahead run. It'll be a pass ball. I think Rupp just missed it. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Inside, two balls and one strike. It'll be a tough way to lose a game with a pass ball. And the Phillies have fought hard all throughout. A 2-1 pitch, swing and a foul, still 2-2. Two and two. Now the 2-2 pitch. Inside, 3-2. and two. The stretch. 3-2 pitch. Walked him. It's Tanner Rourke. He will bat for himself here. Pavel Bond waiting again, and here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, no balls on one strike. Pavel Bond waiting. He on one pitch. Swing, ground ball over the guy was throws on a second, gets the out at second. I don't win the inning, but the Nationals score to run on a pass ball. Go to the bottom of the 12. Phillies, one last chance. It's eight to seven Nationals. Here's Chase DeArnold. He is three for five. He has singled three times and scored two runs. Working the game here again. There's the pitch of the Arnold. In for a strike, no balls or one strike. Work trying to close this one out. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swaying and a foul 0 and 2. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Outside, 1-2. and two. Ryan Howard waits on deck. Now the 1-2 pitch. Call third strike. He got him. Colorado on San Francisco tied in the ninth. So is L.A. and Miami. Here's Ryan Howard who had a two-run home run in the tenth. One out, no base runners here. Here's the pitch to Howard. Outside for a ball, one ball and no strikes. The 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss, one ball and one strike. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Low, two balls and one strike. Now 
And a 2-1 pitch. Low, 3-1. Freddie Gavis waits on deck. Work ready. And a 3-1 pitch. Swing and a foul. What a catch by Zimmerman. I thought it was going to be a foul, but Zimmerman makes the catches. Two outs here in the ninth. Um, excuse me, two outs here in the 12th, and they'll bring up Freddie Galvis. Last chance here for the Phillies. Freddie Galvis the batter. Work ready, and the pitch to Galvis. In for a strike, no balls and one strike. Work ready. And the 0 1 pitch. And I great curve. Oh, change up 0 and 2. Billy's down to their last strike here. Work ready. The 0 2 pitch. Call a third strike. Struck him out. And the Nationals win it. About a score of eight to seven. Here in 12 innings, a hard fought battle. Phillies fought hard to tie it in the sixth, tied it in the tenth, but the Nationals going to win it on a pass ball. A rough could not handle it, and the Nationals win it by the score of eight to seven. Snapping the Phillies' two-game winning streak. Tanner Work picks up the win. A Papel line picks up the loss. And the Nard Span will get the player of the game honors. And one hit at a home run, a two run homer. And four at bats. Nationals win it by the score of eight to seven. Thank you for joining us here on the Phillies Radio Network. We will talk to you next time.